Hi, welcome to Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. I'm Anthony Annaletto, and I'm here in Hyannis, Massachusetts at Belize Motor Sales. Belize Motor Sales is one of the largest retailers of new and used cars here in New England. Owned by the Belize family since the early 1930s, Belize Motor Sales currently operates 18 dealerships selling all types of car brands from Buick, Chevy, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Lexus, Mazda, Toyota, Nissan, VW, and more. A year and a half ago, Belize Motor Sales did something quite remarkable. And we're here because Jeb Belize invited Sonny's and the crew down to videotape his new 125 foot flex serve car wash that Jeb has added to one of his adjacent dealership properties. But this car wash actually services four of his dealerships within a seven mile radius. He's got customers coming back on a regular basis, viewing new cars, they're getting a service and they're coming in to wash the car. They're able to buy monthly memberships. Um, he's really done a lot to increase the value to his customers at the dealerships and the service departments, as well as create a new profit center that actually adds revenue to the entire family portfolio. With everything from fundraisers to social media to monthly memberships and loyalty programs, the folks here at Hyannis Car Wash are putting out a phenomenally clean, dry, shiny car. I said it's time to sit down with Jeb and talk to him and find out why he chose to put this type of car wash model on one of his dealership properties. We want the people on Cape Cod and particularly in the Hyannis area to feel like it's their car wash, not ours. So what we did was said, let's call it Hyannis Car Wash and then associate Belize with it. So we have the Belize emblem on the car wash. We promote it and when we promote it, it's usually a Belize family member doing the advertising, but we don't actually mention the name Belize when we're uh, advertising the car wash or what we do. So we're getting, we think, a really good halo off of it and yet letting it stand on its own. With the advent of the internet now, cars are more and more a commodity. So you have to separate yourself out with level of service and exceptional customer treatment. And what we found is a car wash is one more way to differentiate ourselves, give our customers a better experience and a more pleasurable ownership experience. Everybody wants a clean car, um, so it's really worked well. The other challenge we have as car dealers in a world where advertising keeps getting more and more expensive while at the same time be becoming less and less effective, a car wash is just a great natural traffic builder to a particular location. My inspiration for the car wash is kind of interesting. I was at a, a, a dealer meeting in New York City and sitting next to a gentleman who had a, a several dealerships on, on, on one campus and he uh, told me that he had built a car wash. Um, I don't think it's a tunnel like we built, but bottom line is uh, he was in an intensely competitive market in uh, uh, mid-Atlantic and uh, he ended up doing free car washes for his customers for a lifetime. And I said, geez, I said, that's got to be awfully expensive. He said, hey, he said, it's the best traffic builder I ever did. That stuck in my mind. And then when the property became available here, um, which was at a premium because it had a car wash on it, um, I immediately remembered his words and said, boy, this is an opportunity. So we bought out a, a very old car wash that uh, the operators were really not only good people, but really smart people in terms of getting the best out of the facility, but it just wouldn't uh, live up to, you know, what we're about. So we raised that and um, took a couple years to figure out how to best utilize the property and build, you know, the right car wash for the, for the market. I'm standing here in the driveway of the Hyannis Car Wash, part of the Belize uh, Auto Sales Group, and I just want to talk about the lay of the land. And this is a creative use of property. He's got a dealership right behind me here on the, on, the, on the main street. On the corner of this intersection between the two roads, there's a couple commercial buildings with some storage and rental buildings. And then the driveway of the car wash comes in off that side street. There's a back access that ties them directly to the dealership. So all the customers that are in for an oil change or a service have an easy access right to the car wash by coming to the backside. 
It's a flex serve car wash with a 125 foot tunnel. It's got three auto cashiers, so they're paying before they roll in. Everybody stays in the car. On the other side of the building that we'll go take a look at is the nine bay aftercare area. They can service up to nine cars in the bay, nice, heated, well lit, uh, where they're doing full serve, flex serve, waxing, detailing. They're doing retail customers. They're also doing make ready for the new cars. Any used cars that are being sold, new cars being prepped for, for sale, cars go to the auction. They're doing them as well. And it's a profit center. They charge the dealership for every one of those washes. There is no free wash with an oil change at the Belize Center. It's all uh, discounted and promoted because it's a valuable wash process. You'll see that when you watch the work they're doing inside there. We're gonna take a look at the menu. So this car wash here starts off at $11 for a deluxe exterior car wash and dry. Uh, they do offer free towel drying as a, a little added feature on the back. You can accept it if you want, pull over to get it, or you can just drive away without it. It's your choice. Uh, on the property, there are about 14 vacuums. Uh, they're coin operated. They're $1.75 for seven minutes. So there is no free vacuum at this site. Um, the wash packages go all the way to $19. If you want to add the hot wax, it becomes $24 for the top wash. And all the detail services are in addition to those wash prices. Uh, they didn't want to come into the market and try to take over and knock out. It's a family community here on Cape Cod. Um, there is one car wash in the area. They're $11 for an exterior wash. They match them. They just want to win with the quality. And from what I've seen and the customers I've talked to, they're getting all of that. Um, they're doing a fantastic job. The wash process is really nice. They're running a, a very moderate chain speed. They're putting the cars out. They're coming out very clean, very dry. Um, we're in New England. There's snow on the ground and it's about 20 degrees and we've watched the cars come out and they're coming out really, really nice. Um, typical one of our 125 foot packages, uh, spider wrap combination unit, Omni side to side, um, some side brushes, rinsing, drying and tire shine. Yep, even here on a 20 degree day, we're doing tire shines with our traditional Simonized sponge tire shine machine and it's working quite well. Uh, back room is, is set up quite nicely. They do a lot of their own maintenance. Um, uh, they get a little bit of support from Auto Wash Maintenance, our local distributor here in the Northeast who did the installation. It is also a royal building. So in this harsh environment, this royal building is basically a plastic form concrete building. So you have very little maintenance on the outside, which is important here in the, in the Northeast. I'll point out some of the key features. So anybody that's thinking about building a building this style, uh, galvanized door jams. There's no paint on them. There's no maintenance. Um, that's what we do in the Northeast. They're very smart builders. They're old timers. When you have a house on the, on the, on the ocean, you want it to be cedar shingled. You don't want to do, put any paint on it. It'll peel off. It'll look terrible. So you make it maintenance free. They've done that here and incorporated it into the building. So we offer a, uh, a deluxe, a supreme, and an ultimate car wash with various thing, uh, various uh, levels. And then we, we took the hot wax and offered it as an option on any car wash. When Tony first brought up fast passes and gift cards and all that stuff, I basically was a curmudgeon and wasn't interested because I really wanted to make sure we first did things really well. So us being slow to the punch is only one person to blame, it's me. When we introduced it, same thing. We didn't put a lot of hype behind it. We just kind of put it on the menu and we've seen steady growth, but we also see great retention. They're, the people that are signing up aren't getting off of it. And we'll probably actually start to market that. So monthly membership was the one thing that was new to me and uh, it was really a big surprise. And, and I now recognize based on uh, my manager teaching me and the experience and seeing the results, people love to belong to something and the ease and convenience. So it, it's been a big success. In terms of percentages, we now are at 41% of the deluxe car wash. Ultimate car washes are at 27% and that our Supreme car wash is in the mid 30s. And what we found again, going back to the value proposition, rather than change prices, we increased and changed and tweaked what the uh, services were they got in each car wash. So, so by utilizing pay stations, well set up, well organized, simple to understand, the consumer is able to make their own informed, intelligent decision and it's pretty interesting. They do recognize and see, see and seek value. When we made the changes, 
we saw the Deluxe drop from over 50% down to 41%. Okay, so here we are at the entrance of the detail center. This is a nine bay detail center, so with the normal size car, they get nine cars inside. They've done a really nice job in that they've given a lot of light in the bays. The, again, that royal building with the plastic walls make it very reflective. Um, they've got vacuum cleaners, they've got all their supplies, blow down guns in there so they can really blow the car down, wipe it, wipe it dry, and then be able to go in and vacuum and service the inside of the cars, whether it's just a super clean or if it's a express wax or a carpet shampoo or, or even a bigger detail. They've done a great job, a couple of features here. There's loop detectors in the floor. When the car pulls up to the doors and there's an open bay, the door opens automatically. So they're not waiting for the attendant to, to attract them. The door opening alerts the attendant that there's a car coming. They'll turn around and guide the customer in and then escort them to the waiting room. Uh, while they're in the bay, they're servicing the vehicles. Uh, they don't have to walk but more over than a half, a half a car length to get their supplies. They did a great job with the contractor. Um, one of the local managers, Tony, uh, spent some time with them and designed the little workstations to hold the vacuum hose, the air tools, the mats, and also mount the lights that give them the, 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 the brightness and the visibility to make sure they're doing a good quality service on the cars. As in detailing or paint restoration or cleaning the cars, the lighting is critical. So they've done a really nice job here. They've got a couple of um, gas-fired uh, forced air heaters inside there that keep the bay with the doors closed to a comfortable 40, 50 degrees today. Um, they're in there with mostly sweatshirts doing the job. Customers are inside the waiting room, having a cup of coffee, catching up on the news. Let's go in there, we'll take a look at that. As with any full serve car wash or flex serve car wash, it's really important to have a nice waiting area that's comfortable and clean for the customers to wait and hang out for their car to get serviced. A regular detail service in here, they pride themselves on doing them quick. A super clean could be as little as 15 minutes, but a super clean and a shampoo might be 45. So they've got a nice little waiting area here with comfortable furniture, nice tile floors, news, coffee, some very clean and immaculate restrooms with uh, nicer tile than you'll find in, in some homes. Um, they did a great job to make this a comfortable spot. They've got magazines and even with the plastic wall finishings inside the building, a couple of little bit of artwork, some clocks, and it's almost impossible to tell it's a concrete uh, block structure. The customers enjoy hanging out waiting for, the, for their services. Uh, let's take a walk outside, we'll finish the tour, I'll show you the vacuums and the towel dry area. Hi, we're outside now in the parking lot where we've got about 12 coin operated vacuum cleaners. Again, they're not free vacuums, they're coin operated vacuums, $1.75 will get you 7 minutes. Uh, customers can use them as they wish, just pull in vacuum and go home, or they can come out of the wash, vacuum, and then uh, finish up and towel up their car at the end. They've got a little vending area in the back behind me that's got some air freshers and trees, some, some white towels that if the customer wants to do their own detailing opposed to buying a, a, a detail service from them on the inside, they can do that there as well. My general managers of the dealerships, when I talk to them and ask them candidly, they all believe the car wash has been a significant help in promoting the dealerships, in, in raising the bar and level of uh, uh, enjoyment from a consumer's point of view. I do think if you focus on quality and work on great leadership and, and associates that are all engaged and committed to being the best, it overcomes most of the obstacles you're going to be uh, uh, hit with. No matter what competitors do, no matter what happens around you, if people perceive your high quality, um, it's probably the only thing that you can really hold on to is no matter what you do with price or no matter what you offer for today's uh, you know, particular product, somebody's either going to copy you or come up with something different. So we, we love the car wash business. We're, we are looking at uh, uh, sites as we speak. I would expect uh, that you'll see uh, more car washes built pretty much on the same model as we've done here in Hyannis. Here's what I really appreciated about Sonny's is there's a lot of research and there's a lot of information out there and Sonny's helps you pull it all together and uh, they don't want you to build the wrong car wash in the wrong location. So there's a lot of security built into the professionals you're working with. This car wash really, well we own it, it was a partnership between 
auto wash maintenance and Sonny's and ourselves and it was a collaborative uh, uh, project. Uh, we couldn't have done it with, without our other two partners in the deal. What's nice about that is if we were trying to do something and they didn't think it would work, I have great confidence in both those companies that they're going to tip us off and say, hey, slow down and take another look at this. So I think from, from a dealer perspective, I can't say um, a car wash is a no-brainer and put it with any dealership in any location, but I would say it's just such, such, a, such a compliment to an individual dealership or a dealership group that it should be on your radar screen and at least be considered. Uh, I'm excited about opening more car washes. I hope you enjoyed meeting Jeb Belize as much as I did. This is a real treat to visit this car wash down here in Hyannis, uh, Massachusetts in Cape Cod. If you want to learn more about the remarkable service that Jeb is providing to his local area customers and the dealership customers that he has, go online to BelizeHyannisCarWash.com and you can see a little bit more information about their actual operation. If you want to learn more about car washing, go visit Sunny'sDirect.com and you can find more videos like this that will teach you about the car washing services that we provide for customers all over the world. Again, I want to thank Jeb for letting us come down and tour his car wash and be in his way for a little while and be able to share this with you folks so you can learn how to help better service your community and your customer. As always, thank you, good luck, and good washing.